friends this is namneet and welcome to patel.com today here in this video we will discuss in detail about super moon so you might have heard in the news that uh, the super moon of 2017 uh, we will be able to see in the dark night skies of december 3rd that is sunday right so what super moon is what are the various misinterpretations associated with it what are its impact and how does it occur all these things we will cover here in this video so i hope you will definitely enjoy this video and if you like please subscribe to my channel fatehadukom so let's continue so first of all we will discuss what is super moon and how does it occur so uh, let me take this highlighter so as you know that moon revolves around earth in an elliptical path right and not the perfect circular path so due to elliptical path followed by moon what happens that the distance of moon at certain point from the earth varies like it appears closer at some point and it appears farthest at some point right so uh, the distance from which it is at the farthest point from the earth that point is called apogee whereas the distance from which it appears closest uh, from the earth that point is it is called perigee right so as you know that moon revolves around earth and takes around 27 days so in these 27 days it passes through different phases so one of those phases is full moon right so when full moon uh, it can occur at any point right it can occur here it can occur here it can occur here right but when it occurs on perigee which is which is at closest distance from the earth and when it occurs at perigee that full moon is called super moon at the perigee irrespective of the phase the moon already appears brighter and bigger and when it is full moon at perigee it becomes more brighter and more bigger than the typical moon so let's see so elliptical path bring it closer to and farther from the earth so here you can see this is perigee that is the lesser distance and this is apogee right so the farthest point from uh, the earth that is called apogee which is around 4,4300 km this is an approximate distance from the earth on an average right and uh, similarly the closest point it is called perigee which is about 3,61438 km from the earth on an average and moon takes 27 days to complete its revolution around earth as i have told you so during this time the moon reaches both its apogee as well as perigee right so full moon can occur at any point as i have told you it can occur here it can occur here it can occur here so it can occur at any point in the elliptical path but when the full moon occurs at or near perigee right so it looks slightly larger and brighter than typical full moon this is called super moon right so uh, any kind of visible changes uh, we can see the reason, the answer is no if you want to see the visible changes uh, with the naked eye it is not possible but you can use cameras with telephoto lenses binoculars or telescopes to get enhanced views of these lunar surfaces right so the moon appears 14% larger and approximately 30 to 40% brighter however the dis difference cannot be observed with the naked eye right so the other question arises is any climate any calamities due to super moon the answer is big no a super moon will not cause any earthquake any fires any volcanic eruptions or any weather changes severe weather changes or tsunamis right so when we will be able to see the next super moon so next super moon would be visible on january 2 and january 31 2018 the moon on 31st will be called the blue moon as it is the second full moon in a month so i hope you had enjoyed this video and if you like please subscribe to my channel fatehadukom thanks for watching